More encouraging news about a COVID-19 vaccine. Today, Pfizer announced the results of their phase three trial, and they are so promising, they hope to get approval from the FDA for emergency use within days. Stephen Fabian has details. The news is huge. Pfizer says their vaccine is now 95% effective with no serious side effects and will apply for emergency use within days. Now, one of the youngest volunteers to test the vaccine is speaking out to Inside Edition. 16-year-old Kirsten Stepanowski became a guinea pig along with her father, Dan. I think it's important that people my age um, are willing to participate in these trials so that at the end of the day, it can, um, it's efficiency can get proven, not just for adults, but for kids. And I couldn't be more proud of her. She's awesome. Um, you know, to be 16 and, you know, I, I can't imagine being 16 and going through a global pandemic. The vaccine comes too late to help this young woman, a COVID-19 long hauler who is now largely wheelchair bound with long term disabilities. My body feels like a thousand pounds and I can sometimes I can't even hold up my neck. And so I have to use it to get around the house. You can't live alone right now. I can't live alone. Um, that's why I moved back to my parents' house. 24-year-old Natalie Naharo came down with COVID shortly after attending this massive Black Lives Matter protest in Hollywood last June, although she doesn't know if she contracted the virus at the protest. I keep thinking back about those moments of like whenever I've like hugged someone without a mask. Now, after all this time, she still faces months of struggle ahead of her to recover. I do not wish long COVID for anyone. I don't. I know how debilitating it is. I know how hard it is. I know there's, it's not just you, but like, it's all the family and friends that have to come and help you. Meanwhile, disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, serving 23 years behind bars in upstate New York, is reported to be suffering from COVID-like symptoms. Doctors are awaiting the results of a COVID test for confirmation. Hundreds of thousands of people are lining up at testing stations across America today, hoping for a negative test before Thanksgiving get-togethers. Travelers are even getting last-minute tests at airports before boarding flights. Maria Angel was one of the first passengers to be tested at this center at Newark Airport. The result? Negative. Safe flight. Thank you. And President-elect Biden held a virtual roundtable with health Healthcare workers and what this nurse had to say left him choked up. You know, we nurses, we know that we are facing immense death and suffering in the coming weeks. And we will be there. I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. No. It's just. You got me emotional. Look.